What up folks, this is GK. So in this video, I'm going to explain you what is an MCP in a very simple way with the simple analogy of restaurant. And I'm also going to set up MCP server, Kubernetes server in my local desktop so that uh, the AI agent can talk to my local Kubernetes cluster and run all the commands. So it's going to be a step-by-step -step video for anybody who has no understanding or experience of MCP. So follow along and uh, try this in your laptop and desktop and let me know in the comment section if you have any difficulties setting this server up. So with that, let's uh, get some understanding of what is MCP and then go to the demo. So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's just a set of rules or a language that lets an AI agent talk to your tools and services in a predictable structured way. Think of it's like a universal translator, your AI model says something like, get me the list of pods and MCP makes sure that the request gets executed against your Kubernetes cluster. So let me make it even more simpler. Let's say you go to a restaurant and you as a customer, in this case AI agent, would say, I'd like to see today's specials. The waiter, the MCP transport, translates the request into kitchen speak, says like something called slash list specials. Now the server, in this case kitchen, runs the command, gathers the results, as an example, chicken curry or veg pasta, and sends that information back to the waiter. So now the MCP transport here, which who is waiter, takes the kitchen's response, packages it back as a text for the customer. Now again, this cycle will continue, AI agent will ask another question, and then uh, the MCP will make a request to the server and then gets the information back. So MCP, the waiter in this story, makes sure every order and response is formatted correctly so nobody gets confused. So in this demo that I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to run MCP server on my local desktop using WSL, which exposes Kubernetes commands as MCP tools. And the AI agent, which is Claude, speaks MCP over standard input or standard output. So behind the scenes, the MCP routes those JSON RPC calls into real kubectl sends back structured JSON results. So that's MCP in nutshell. So let's go through the demo. So first things first, like I've said, what you need is MCP server that was built by someone uh, under Flux 159. And I'm going to take the code. So like I've said, I'm using WSL. I'm going to open my WSL Ubuntu. So here, go to MCP directory that I've created before and then run git clone. Right, so I have my MCP server of Kubernetes. And the first thing that I, I generally do whenever I have a code, like I've, like I've covered in my previous video, is open code, which will open my uh, cursor, the editor that I usually use. And uh, so here I can fix anything or give commands so that that will be executed in my WSL, which is already running. So basically uh, the code editor is running within the WSL, which is Ubuntu here in this case. The next commands that you have to run is already listed in the Git repository itself. So it uses uh, bun. So the command that I'm gonna run now is bun install. So if you do not have bun already installed, then you can just install using app get because if it is if it is ubuntu it's apt get if it is rhl you can use yum but you need to have bun for this and then the next command is bun run build that's going to build the code so this is all good the next step that you have to do is install claude on your desktop um, for that you can go to Claude desktop agent and go here, download for Windows. You know, you know, if you're using ARM64, you can use that, but by default, most of you would be using Windows normal one. So click on that and then that's going to install the setup file. Uh, setup file is pretty straightforward. You have to just click on next, next, and then that will install Claude. All right, so once, it, once the Claude is installed, open the Claude open it and now you have it uh, you have the AI agent setup 
So you can just uh, try your normal usual AI commands that you want to try here, asking a good quotations or whatever. And if you see if you see here, it's not connected to the Kubernetes cluster or it's not connected to the Kubernetes server yet. So that's what we're going to do now. So as you can see in the Git repository, the next thing that we have to do, we have to configure the cloud desktop agent so that it's going to you know, start uh, the Kubernetes MCP server in the local. Uh, through that server, it's going to communicate to the Kubernetes cluster. And, and this is the file that they gave us. So I've modified that uh, configuration file to suit my Windows environment. So if you're using Linux by default or Mac by default, you don't have to worry about this command. Uh, this file or, or you don't have to worry about this configuration because I'm using WSL. I pass it as a WSL and then arguments. Uh, this is the path of where my current code is. Like for instance, if you, for instance, if I go back and if you see the path, MCP server, dist, and this is where I have uh, the index.js. And as it says here, you have to give the path of uh, index.js. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to locate the cloud desktop configuration file. To locate the cloud desktop configuration file, what you have to do is go here, then go to file and settings, go to the developer, and here you can see edit configuration. And it is located somewhere here. And open that using notepad and copy this whole configuration file, paste it, and save it. So if your configuration file is correctly formatted and it is correct, then it's going to start the Kubernetes server and you're gonna see a new server in the settings here. So since I have uh, added the configuration, I have to restart Cloud. So to restart again on Windows, you have to kill the service. I don't see any other option of restarting here, so I'm gonna click on end task and uh, open Cloud again. Now I see this error. To fix that, go back to developer. I mean, that's not a showstopper though, but it's a minor error because of the uh, because of the console log formatting or something of that sort, which I which I've came to know from from uh, while debugging in cursor. So to fix it, uh, just copy this and go back to the cursor and say like I'm getting when starting Cloud Agent. So it does basic debugging. And after it does the debugging, then it's going to apply a few changes to the file. So once the changes are made to index.ts, again, we have to restart the Cloud. So I'm gonna end task and go back or click on the icon here. Perfect. Now you see a new icon here and then you see MCP server Kubernetes that shows up. If I go back to settings, you'll also see that error, is, error must be gone and you see it is running. No, perfect. So we have done from the cloud side, everything is all good. The next thing that we have to do is start my Kubernetes server, local cluster. So for that, I'm using Docker desktop. Because what uh, Cloud will do is it connects, or the MCP server will do. So what MCP server will do is it uses your kubectl configuration file or kubectl configuration to talk to your local Kubernetes cluster. OK, now the Kubernetes is running. I'm going to close this, because closing that will not stop Docker desktop. It is uh, running. Now to test this out, the command that I'll give and check it out is check, let's say check if I have any pods running. As it says, there are no pods currently running in my default namespace. Um, I'm going to say, can you install nginx pod, or rather, can you deploy nginx pod on my cluster? 
You don't have to be that specific. If you just say, can you deploy Nginx pod, it will understand and it will deploy. So if you see, it's going to translate, the MCP is going to translate it into kubectl underscore create or kubectl underscore list based on what we have said. And now if I go back to the Docker desktop, and um, I see that uh, there's a new Nginx that's currently running. So now I can even destroy it, say uh, destroy Nginx pod. If you go back to the same analogy that I gave, now if, if an agent is giving that command, uh, it, it gets translated by the MCP server, and MCP server talks to the Kubernetes cluster, and it destroys the pod. So the pod is gone. So this is a step-by-step -step video. Uh, the main thing that you have to make sure is that follow everything that is given in this um, Git repository when it comes to when it comes to um, setting up this configuration file properly. And if you set it up properly, then it will talk to your, your uh, Kubernetes cluster. And if there is any debugging that you want to do, I highly recommend do that using cursor. As you can see, it was very seamless. I do not have to do Google search or fix things on my code side. So I hope you find this video helpful. So do try it out. So if you do not have your local Docker desktop or Kubernetes running on your laptop, you can again configure your kubectl to talk to, let's say, GK cluster or uh, any other EKS environment or AKS, and then do the same thing. Because your Kubernetes cluster, which is because your uh, MCP server, which is running in the local, will always talk to your uh, cluster using the kubectl commands. And let me know in the comment section if you got any issue while you're trying this demo. Thank you all again for watching this video. Bye.